It's nothing like like Whitney. Everybody can do a lot of things, but everybody can't do Whitney. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for each and every one of you today. We are, we are here to do what God has called us to do, and that is to look to Him. Um, Father, we thank you. We, we come because you are our Father, which are where we shall be, no longer walking in the place of wanting to be. We shall be with you now and not later on. We are in a place where we, you are separating the, 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 flesh, the flesh from the spirit. You're, you're giving us the importance of, of being spiritual and, and not, not worried about what the flesh looks like, not concerning ourselves with the matters of the flesh. So Father, we thank you right now that you get ready to dissect, do what you do, take this word, and let it, let it, let it impart into somebody's spirit. Lord, because if it just be one, we will have done what you've called us to do this day. Let me decrease, Lord, that you may increase. Give me the other blue mic. Let me decrease, Lord, that you may increase. And Lord, let there be, let there be no wayward spirit in me. Let there be no personal agendas in me. Let there be no personal agendas in me. But let there be nothing but the but the purity of the word that you have for us this day. Yes. And we'll be sure to give you all the honor and all the glory in advance. Amen. Yes. And the church said amen. 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 And amen. amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. All right. Um, you may be seated. You may be seated. You may be seated. Um, yet I have seen God. Yet I have seen God. God. I want to thank God for all of you in your respective places. First, my elect lady, and Pastor Thompson, Pastor Dawson, we thank God for you. Good to see family in the house today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yet I have seen God. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Yet, Yet I have seen God. Say, what about you? Look at your other neighbor and say, neighbor. I seen God sending Sister Keisha, Missionary Keisha through the door. Amen. Pray and her mama. Pray to the Lord. You tell me. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God is working. God is working. Yet we have seen God work at the Spirit of Jesus. Again and 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 again. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God charged in you. In your life to take charge over your life. Amen? Amen. God charged in your life to take charge over your life. And I thank God. Amen? Amen. Yeah, my God, my God. Because yes. when I thought I was over something, what, what was it? When I thought I was over something, what it looked like? When I thought I was over something, until I decided to get out of the way, yes. only then could God have his way. Amen? Amen. Um, our scripture reading today is coming from the book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter chapter 6, verses 3 through 10. And the word of God reads, New Living Translation. And they were calling out to each other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of heaven's armies. The whole earth is filled with his glory. The voices shook the temple to its foundations and the entire building was filled with smoke. Then I said, it's all over. I am doomed, for I am a sinful man, and I have filthy lips, and live among people with filthy lips. Yet, I have seen the king, the lord of he heaven's armies. Then one of the seraphims flew to me with a burning coal he had taken from the altar with a pair of tongues. He touched my lips and said, see, this coal has touched your lips. Now your guilt is removed and your sins are forgiven. Then I heard the Lord asking, whom shall I send as a messenger to, the, to this people who will go for us? And I said, here I am, send me. And he said, yes, go and say to the people, listen carefully, but do not understand. Watch closely, but do not learn. Harden the hearts of these people. Plug their ears, 
and shut their eyes. That way they will not see with their eyes, nor hear with their ears, nor understand with their hearts, and turn to me for healing. My God. Somebody say, yeah. Yes. I have seen God. I have seen God. Uh, who am I? Who am I? I am the one who was born without sin. But because of me, you were born in sin. Somebody, who am I? I am the one who was born without sin. But because of me, you were born in sin. Adam. Adam. Born without sin. Amen. Yet born in sin. Who am I? I saw a beautiful lady and, 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 and her, her husband was in the military and, and she was just so beautiful. I had to have her. I murdered her, but God say I was yet chasing his heart. Who am I? David, 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 David. Who am I? Who am I? I, I, I love you and I will not let nothing happen to you. I will, I will follow you no matter what. Even unto death, I will follow you. But will I really? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? I'm denied. I denied him. I beat him. I've cursed him by cursing other people. I've turned my back on people. Who am I? Me. Who am I? Me. Quickly we called out the names of the other characters. But we didn't want to identify the character which we are. Quickly we, are, we called out the names of the other characters but we did not want to identify the character in which we are. But in, in, in all those characters, yet God used them. Yet God used, he used Adam. Without using Adam, we wouldn't even be here because he, he, he fulfilled the land with the seed of Adam. Yet he used David. Because without David, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be chasers of the heart of God. Yet, yet he used them. And I come to ensure you today, in spite of where you are, or in spite of where you are, or in spite of what you think, he's yet using you. Amen. Yet, I have seen God. I and as I, as I, as I, as I hear this, uh, so in spite of everything, in spite of everything, I recognize that holy, 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 all is holy. And then the thing that I really can't understand because because I have I have a, I have an imagination I I have an idea of what holiness is but I come to tell you even this heaven and with dark places is yet holy because even just deep with the name heaven being attached to it it's got to be holy because what makes it heaven is that you know what God may not be here according to your understanding but He's yet been here and soon and very soon you will find out that He has returned. And when I find out that he has returned, then what shall I do? Should I be afraid? When I find out just, just how important God is to my life, or not, in, not to my life, should I fear? Yes, you should. Yes, you should. I should feel my way out of agony. I should feel my way out of foul language. I should feel my way out of circumstances that are not becoming of God. And in doing so, now I accept being what God has called me to be. He said, as I am holy, you shall also be. He said, even in your, even you must understand the cycles that you must go through. The cycles that we must go through in life. And, and, and the cycles that matter are not the cycles that, that says how good we are. The cycles we must go through in life is the cycle that says no matter where I am, I am, I am, I am yet holy. If I come from holiness, no matter what, you cannot make me unholy. If I come from holiness, I cannot yet make myself unholy. If I come from holiness, I must be taught the value. Amen. Come on, somebody. I must be taught the value of holiness. Amen. Holy. Holy, holy. 
the Lord of heaven's armies. I, I, I told you recently the difference between heaven's army and man's army is in man's army you're supposed to keep the enemy from the leader. But in God's army, you're supposed to bring the enemy to the leader. So now here I am as a warrior of God. When I think of warrior, I think of weapons. I think of weapons to, to destroy. I think of weapons to, to, to get rid of. I think of weapons to shield. But I come to tell you today, when you are a soldier in the army of the, God, of the Lord, you must think of weapons that will draw you must think of weapons that will bring people to them. You must think of weapons that, that, that will fill the house. Come on, somebody. Amen. You must think of weapons not to, not to repel, but to draw. Amen. And the greatest tool you have is, is the weapon of love. As we learned this morning, we really, we really found out what real love is. We found out where there is no intimacy, there is no... Yeah, y'all should have been here. Y'all got it real. It was real, it was real good. A little bit too mature for, 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 for right now, but it was real good. <laughs> but where there's no intimacy, there's no real love. Because when there's intimacy, intimacy says she's the only one that will do for me. When there is real love, there is no replacing what you love. But if I can replace it, I don't. Yet. I have seen God. How do I know I've seen God? I'm a sinner. Yes, I am. But I've experienced love. I don't care what where you are. If you're sitting here today, you're sitting here today, I don't care if your mama didn't like you, I don't care if your daddy didn't like you, I don't care if your sister didn't like you, I don't care if your brother didn't like you. You're sitting in this church today because you experienced love. Amen. Amen. From somebody or somewhere. Amen. Amen. You've experienced love. So don't tell me that you don't know love. I, I will say this. You might not know love intimately, but you know of love. Amen. Amen? So yet I have seen God, and if I know love, that means even if I just know of it, I have experienced something with God. Amen? Amen. Now the word of God says the, the whole world. What, what world? The whole world. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is so sort of... The good part of the world. Oh. Huh? No, 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 no. The, the, the part of the world that just brings me joy and peace. Joy oh, no. and pain. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but even, in other words, the joy and the pain makes the wholeness of God. He said the whole world is filled with glory. The voices, joy and pain like sunshine and rain in other words he said you, you, you can't appreciate the sunshine without the rain you can't appreciate the joy without the pain if the world can get it why can't we cannot get it if the world can, can rock the maze and joy and pain why can't I rock the little pain every now and then my god my god the whole earth is filled with his glory. The voices shook the temple to its foundations and the entire building was filled with smoke. I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm saying, okay, I, 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 I shook the foundation and, and God said, I know you know what the foundation is. You, you know the foundation is built on Jesus. You know that Jesus is the cornerstone, but I'm going to fill the room with smoke so you can't see him. I'm going to mess with your vision. I'm going to put you in a place where you cannot see your way out. Mm. Mm. Put me in a place where I say I'm standing on the foundation of Jesus Christ. But I'm suffocating because it's mere words. When I'm surrounded and my flesh has no escape. God showed me that nothing that surrounds you can keep the spirit from going where God needs it to go. Amen. 
Nothing that surrounds you can keep the spirit from, from, from living. Nothing that surrounds you can keep the spirit from fulfilling what God says it's going to fulfill. And it's going to fulfill life. And life more abundantly. Amen. That's why God let you keep living when you wanted to die. We all been there. I don't want no more of this. Lord, if you love me, just take me on out of here. Lord, you call this love? But the more agony there is, the greater the reward. There is really, there is really no experience in heaven, deep, unless you experience hell. Because if you never experience heaven, you won't even know you're in hell. And if you never experience hell, you won't even know you're in hell. So there's no experience of one without the other. But yet still, we, we want to live in a place where as if there's only that white picket fence life. That white picket fence life. That white picket fence lie. There is no white picket fence. I figured out when I was watching Leaving the Beaver, I don't know, I might be dating myself, but y'all kids might not know nothing about Leaving the Beaver, but I knew, I knew something wasn't right, D. Every day I came home, man, you didn't have to worry about me. I was going home to get my milk. I promised you I had to drink, I had to have my milk, because, you know, they told me if I had milk, it would make my bones strong, and I could, I could be a good athlete. So I had to go home and get my milk at 4 o'clock, because at 4 one, I'm watching Leaving the Beaver, and I bought the line. And then, you know, to leave it to me, but they had the white picket fence. And I said, oh my God, when I grow up, I'm going to have the white picket fence in my house, in front of my house. I'm going to have kids, and we're going to be running around. But the dad and the mama didn't sleep in the same bed, so it couldn't have been real. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you, the daddy slept in one bed, the mama slept in the other bed. When they do that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy the rest of it. If you see the circumstance, and there's a lie in the circumstance, the whole thing is a hello, somebody. But see, if you see the circumstance and you see a truth in the circumstance, the whole thing is a. So what am I saying? Am I am I am I crazy? But suppose there's a lie and a truth in the circumstance. Whatever I see, tell me what's in me. If I see the truth, there's nothing but the truth. If I see the lie, there's nothing but the lie. Whatever I see is what's in me. Because whatever I see is nothing more than a reflection of who I am. You see that, deep? Whatever I see is a reflection of who I am. Somebody say, yeah. Yes. I have seen God. Have seen God. How, crazy How crazy is it, it is, it is. For, me not to reflect him for me not to reflect him on you. I can't do that if I don't know him. So if I'm not reflecting God, I'm still in the place of just knowing of him. Because there's no knowing him and not want to be like him. There's no knowing him and not want to be with him. Yet I have seen God. And, and it says, it says, then I said, look, this is where this is where the devil wins. This is where the devil wins. The young lady just had a testimony this morning. She said, before, well, who, 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 who testimony that she should have been here? Have mercy. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell you who it is. Now she wants to say amen, and y'all look at her and she that's her business. <laughs> But she gave a testimony this morning. She said, this is before I came to this church two years ago. She said, every, every, every other month I was in and out of the hospital. Because she, she, the reason she kept going in and out of the hospital, because she saw lies. She, she, she was comfortable in lying. So she was comfortable in receiving the, hello somebody. I'm comfortable in lying, so I'm comfortable in receiving the lies. And she said, well, she said, for years I was going in and out of the hospital, in and out of the hospital. But then she came over here.
here, God turned her mind around. She said, I have not been in the hospital in two years. And I ain't talking about just started. She's been going in and out of the hospital for years. But came over here and, and we developed the truth on the inside. So when the doctor told her the lie that you shall not live long, that you're going to be in pain all the time, she said, the devil is a lie, so now I live. Is it true? You are what you see yourself as. Right. And I cannot, I cannot fight off my old man. Believing the lie that all I need to do is meet the new man. Mm -hmm. You ever, like some of you ladies ever had, a, had an old man, met a new man, and you wish you had your old man back? <laughs> and that's what happens in the world. Because here we are. Oh, the old man just beat me down. Oh, I got me a new man. But you can't enjoy the new man. Because you're punishing a new man. The old man did. Y'all better preach this thing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't enjoy the, the new man because the old man done taught you all these old man habits. If you got a new man, that's all he bought that, he liked that, but he just an old man too late. <laughs> and so, no longer am I concerned, Sister Keisha, uh, Mr. Akisha, no longer am I concerned about the new man. And the old man, because now I want somebody to say, I want to hear the truth. I want to hear the truth. See, because the problem is, uh, uh, when, I, when, I, when I recognize that the old man was causing me damage, the opposite of the old man is not the new man. I told him I didn't want to give him some away this morning, yeah. but the opposite of the old man is a young spirit. It's not, it's a young spirit. Amen. See, what's, what's good about a young spirit? It's innocent. God said, I will restore you. I will renew you. I will make your spirit young again. Y'all want to run right here trying to find a new man instead of accepting the young spirit. See, because as long as whether he's old or new, he's still yet a uh, man. Talk to me. I need to step into a new spirit. A young spirit. And when I become, when I step into this young spirit, the thing that happens now is I got to go somewhere and teach it because uh, uh, the public schools talk to old man. Come on, somebody. Amen. Oh, you ain't just learning your ABCs. Math and arithmetic and social studies. Huh? And, and, and you, 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 learn how to, you learn how to socialize and unsocialize. You learn how to hate and not hate. You learn how to uh, deal with your peers and not deal with your peers. School taught you all that. So you just didn't learn your ABCs at school. Yeah. You learn how to find the drama and follow it. Oh, they, hey, 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 you come from Stranahan. You know, when they get to the corner down there, you know, they go, it's going to be a fight by the gas station. So, you know what you do? You beat everybody there because you want to be a part of the drama. Really, you're in. Really, you're in. All because, all because you were trained by man. You thought you were going to school, but school was always, always te also teach you the things of life. And, and, and when you were learning the things of life, and even if your mama had you in the church, and the more you learn about life, the more you say, as soon as I get old enough, I ain't dealing with church no more. Mm -hmm. Learn all this in school. Is you going to blame that on school? Yes, I am. Anything man-made will attack what is spiritual. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's right. And it goes on. It says, then I said, this is where the devil gets you. It's all over. That's the way he gets you. The devil's greatest weapon is, it's all over. I remember, I remember the last, the last argument me and my wife had, it's been a minute. She said to me, I just can't do it no more. And, 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 and I was good when we was arguing. I was good. I was. I was live. I was. I was. I was yeah. All right. She all right. She was all right. But when that. When that. When that woman said no more. <laughs> that's what gets us. We over react to the moment. The no more is what messed. I 
I was good, D. Well, she was talking. Oh, you get on my nerves. Yeah, 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 cha 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 Good. You know, sitting there riding me. We leaving Disney. I'm just riding. I'm just looking at the scenery. She messed around and said, no more. I said, ah! <laughs> What you say? <laughs> Let's stop this. And then, and then we, 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 we battled and we went at it. You know, and I said what I said. She said what she said. And, and, and then, guess what? Two days later, no more ended up being some more. We get so caught up and so upset because the devil tells us it's all over. Amen. And so, and so I said that to say this. How many times all over has turned into some more? <laughs> and we're still worried about the all over. How many times have the all over turned into some more? I know some of y'all. I know some of y'all say, "I wish I could make my all over for real." <laughs> Don't be. I ain't, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna look this way because I. I almost said your name. Don't be smiling that hard. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Are y'all with me? Amen. I just want you. I, I, just, I don't want you to come to church. I don't want you to come to church and, and, and learn how to how, learn. Just I want you. If you want to know what John the Baptist did, do that on your own time. But what I need you to know is what you need to do while you're here. Because this is a school, a school that's called church. Amen. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now as I hear this, it says, then I said, it's all over. I'm doomed. I'm a sinful man. I have filthy lips. First of all, tell the truth about yourself. Amen. And, 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 and when you really tell the truth about yourself, you don't care about nobody else's truth. Amen. When I care about somebody else's truth, that means I'm not telling the truth about myself. When I tell the truth about myself, I don't care about no, because when I tell the truth about myself, I'm on the top of the list. The first thing he said is all over. I'm doomed because I am a sinful man. I have filthy lips, and I live among people that are not training me. Not to have filthy lips because they got filthy lips themselves. Amen. I have filthy lips and I live among people that have filthy lips. What is one to do? What is one to do? I told I told y'all, I don't know how long God gonna have me do it, but for, I do this every so often. I'm, I told y'all I, I all I'm eating is fish. Fish, fish, and chicken. But I live along people who want to keep cooking these sausage sandwiches, knowing how much I like these sausage sandwiches. What does one to do? Y'all know I mean fish and chicken. Y'all, y'all might not cook these sausage sandwiches. What do you want to do? Well, I tell y'all what. Don't y'all eat your sausage sandwich in front of Bishop. Bishop, you know he go in his office for about 15, 20 minutes. Y'all whisper to each other, hey, we're selling sausage sandwiches in the bank. Don't say it in front of Bishop. And 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 everybody make sure you have to eat your sausage sandwich before he come out. <laughs> what is one to do? In spite of all that, in spite of what David did, in spite of what Adam went through, in spite of what Solomon, yes. Solomon had to come. Do you understand what happened? One was sinless. One was after God's own heart. One man was the smartest man of all time. Yeah. But did y'all notice something? Adam met God, was with God without sin. David worked with God while he was committing sin. Amen. Solomon met God and it was in a place of comfortable and then he sinned after Y'all get what's going on here? So Adam and David were individuals. Solomon was a combination of both. Here we are, saying I love the Lord, but um, how can I help you? How, uh, how can I help you? What, what, can I take your order? Can I take your order? Um, what do you say? You want a combo? <laughs> 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 you want a combo? <
You want a combo? I'll take a combo. I'll take a combo just in case somebody gets on my nerves. I, 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 I don't want to be godly. But in case everybody's all right, I will be godly. I'll take a combo just in case. Don't put no pressure on me of making a godly decision. I don't know which one to choose because I don't know what you guys are going to do to me next. So I'll take a combo just in case. When are you going to stop taking a combo? When are you going to be able to walk in and make up your mind to serve, serve the Lord for real, for real? When are you going to be able to walk up and say, you know what, for God I live, for God I die, because why? For God lived for me and he also died for me for God because Jesus was God in the flesh. Oh God. Amen. When am I going to stop taking the combo? This is what he says. I take the combo because it costs too much. Hey, girl, how you doing? I ain't seen you in a week of Sundays. You doing all right? I just realized who you is. Come in and try to be incognito with your hat on. Because you know you pulled a dance for me. You never did. But that's all right. 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 I remember, I remember you. You ain't think I know you. Made my towel fall. <laughs> then I said, it's all over. Watch what happens. After all of that, after all you done did, after all you done messed up, I want to I wanna tell you, Yet you have seen the Lord. Amen. I wish you'd have been here this morning because we found out that we found out that many of us found out that we really never have never loved. Yeah. Haven't didn't we? Yeah. We found out that we really have never loved. But I said that to say this. No matter what you've done, no matter how good you are, or how good you are not, yeah. don't fret. All of us need our lips burned. See, he just said lips because the mystery is he burnt the tip of the tongue and he put a gate up. When he burnt, when he burnt the lips, he burnt the tip of the tongue and he put a gate up. In other words, what did he do? He, he, he filtered everything that came out of this deadly weapon called the mouth that was, the bullet is the tongue. He filtered. He said, I'm going to make you feel what you made somebody else feel when you made them burn, not recognize you made them burn. So before you can be with me, you got to accept, I, please burn me. I burned you before. I love 
you sit right there, man. I, I, I like you. I like that spot for you right there. Then one of the serpents flew to me with a burning coal he had taken, watch this now, from the altar. He had taken from where? He brought punishment from me to me from God. Amen. See, he came from, he got it from the altar. The devil can't come up here without burning. He said, I'm going to bring the same punishment I got for Satan. If he come up in his altar, he shall burn. I'm going to take that punishment and bring it to you. And the thing about it is, it was so hot. It wasn't. It wasn't the heat that he was concerned about why he used the tongues. He was concerned about the impurities. Amen. See, y'all worried about the heat of the kitchen. Amen. You're not concerned about being purified by God. Amen. The serpent was not concerned about the heat. Y'all worried about the heat. The it's not the heat that's going to keep you out of heaven. Right. It's not letting God purify your soul. See, y'all, they keep telling you about the hell, the hell, the hell. So they got you scared of the heat. Yes. And as we're about to see, watch this. Now, the heat, he came and said, Then one of the servants flew to me with a burning coal he had taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. He touched my lips. He touched my lips. Amen. God was showing you. You worry about hell, mm -hmm. but hell ain't gonna kill you. And if you learn to accept the hell that God wanna put you through on this earth, it will purify you. Yeah. Yeah. But y'all, y'all run around here, said I did so much, I might as well go on and do, keep doing it because I'm gonna die in hell. No, kid. Uh -huh. That's too easy of death. Hell ain't gonna kill you. Uh -huh. Too easy. <laughs> Hell is not, it's going to purify you. Watch what happens. <laughs> My God. My God. Then one of the seven flew to me with a burning coal he had taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. He touched my lips with it and said, I know I'm not dead because I can still hear it. And said, this coal has touched your lips. Pay attention. Yet I have seen God. This call have touched your lips. Why? Because, because God says, you have seen me. You are mine. Now, I'm going to make you invincible. I'm about to make you invincible. To a child of God, what is invincibility? To a child of God, invincibility is I'm going to live forever. I know the other day, about two weeks ago, I told them I'm wake up with Jesus because God let me step into the forever. And I told them I'm never going to die. Oh, this flesh going to leave you. I promise you, my spirit going to be dancing all over this flesh saying, thank you for letting me go. You hear me? <laughs> and watch what's happened to And I'm, to be an example, to let you know if God can bring me to a mindset of never dying, Guess what? The reason you're at this church because you're never going to die either. Oh we're not. We're not church by the wayside. We're not first Baptist uh, 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 waiting on waiting on God to come back in, in the form of Jesus. No, we're we're a church in the spirit of living forever. We're a church in the spirit of overcoming. We're a church in the spirit that says, "I shall live and not die." We're a church that says, "We are the spirit of." in the name. There's sovereignty in the name. There's salvation in the name. We are the spirit of Jesus. We are spirit Jesus. Watch what he says. I burn 
burnt you. I burnt you. I didn't kill you. But the devil said, I'm going to die. Remember when that boy stabbed you sometime, the devil tell you, you finna die, you finna die, you finna die, you finna die, you finna die. And you thought you finna die, didn't you? Why do you thought you finna die, didn't you? Hmm? But you, I remember. At that time, you remember without knowledge. See that? Huh? Her spirit was already here, even though her body had not yet came to the church. Her spirit was already here, even though her body. So the devil is trying to convince you with circumstances. In her circumstances, there were more. She got stabbed seven times, two times in the head. On a Thursday. If anybody had an excuse not to be in church that Monday, it was her. But but she didn't see an excuse not to come. She saw an excuse to come. Come praise the Lord for life. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. She didn't see an excuse not to come. She saw an excuse to come to praise the Lord for life. So I come to tell you today, stop letting the devil tell you that it's all over. Let's stop letting the devil tell you that you're going to die. And you just tell the devil, if he didn't kill you, why in the hell is he going to kill me? If he didn't kill you, why is he gonna kill me? Stop leaving the lie. It's not all over. Tell it, Bishop. Tell it. You next time that devil come with that stupidness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you tell him say next. When he kill you, come back and tell me. <laughs> Did I believe it? But if he didn't kill Satan, who tried to divide his kingdom, why you let Satan divide you? If he did kill, so if he did kill Satan who was trying to divide his kingdom, why you let him convince you that he going that God gonna let you die? What kind of parent would he be? What kind of parent would he be? Now here it is, and I'm, I'm doing this. Because I done got to what I need to get to. He says, he touches the with in other words, when he suffered a little while. When he suffered a little while and he touched his lip, he burned, he touched his lip with the coals. Look what he said. Now that you've suffered, man of God. Come on, man of God. I've been waiting for this day, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, man of God. I told somebody, this man knows I love him because when I love him, oh, God. I'll let you deal with a little Amen. so we can stay together. Amen. So next time, God, you feel you feel agony or pain or life is beating you down. Say it's just God keeping us keeping me with him rather than throwing me away. I'm, I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all, he didn't, how long you been getting them, how many years? That first time I did it in public, because I ain't want nobody calling DCL, because that's my son. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, saints, he says, when he, when you suffer a little while, do y'all think I get saved, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, sanctified, why you gonna make God suffer and then think God ain't gonna let you? Amen. You really think you've been pleasing God all your life? You really think you've been a missionary all your life? You've been a deacon all your life? Those times when you were not walking in your calling, you were hurting God. But God said, you're not, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna make you suffer a little while so, you, so I can keep you Y'all hear me? He said, now after I burn your lips and get and, and get control of that deadly weapon, why well, not what he says? 
See, this cold has touched your lips. Now you're, because of your suffering, what has happened, woman of God? What has happened? Your what? Your guilt is gone. But you don't want to fall in the wrath of God. That's his wrath. You suffer so you can stay, so you can stay with him. So I thank God for his. Hello, somebody. See, because now I understand. Y'all trying to make God's wrath like man's wrath. Man will kill you and be done with you. God's wrath said, I'm going to make you suffer a little while so we can stay together. Hello, somebody. We all right? Now, as I finish this, he said, now your guilt has been removed and your, uh-oh, uh-oh, your sins are forgiven because God did not choose to kill me. He chose to let me walk in his wrath of suffering so I could be with him. He let you walk in his wrath of suffering so you can match. See, that's why you got to be careful how what you do to God. Hello, somebody. God said, you're going to reap what you sow. The suffering you put on me, I'm going to get back to you. That's right. <laughs> be careful, somebody. Somebody say, be careful. Be careful. Amen. So now, it says, then I heard the Lord. Now, once my, listen what happens. How many people, your guilt's up, you, 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 how many people, you, you, no more guilt. So raise your hand and say, no more guilt. No more guilt. Because the bishop done made me suffer with this word today. So, so you ain't got no more guilt. Your sins are forgiven. So now, say, Bishop, now what do I do? A whole lot of y'all want to stay where you're at in the guilt. Say, Bishop, now what do I do? Bishop, now what do I do? This is what you do. Then I heard the Lord asking, Whom should I send as a missing messenger? To the, to the who? To the who? To the who? To the, who? to the people. He didn't say to the church. He didn't say to the saints. You said to the people in the world. Who should I send? The one who that the one who has been forgiven the most will be the most loyal. The one who has been forgiven the most will be the most loyal. Y'all with me? Now watch, watch, watch this. Now, watch what it says. Then I heard the Lord asking, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? This is how we do. Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost. I ain't never doing nothing, no more. I ain't never going in them areas, no more. I am not going to sin, no more. And the, and the very thing you're telling God what you ain't going to do is what he wants you to do. Remember what we said about the whole and not just the good? He said, I gave you this bad to help somebody else come out of there. Y'all might be don't want to go home today. I gave you this bad to help somebody else come out of there. They're bad. They're bad. Y'all so, hear me? The whole picture. Somebody say the whole picture. The whole picture. Amen. Now, 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 now we about to get out of here. Now we about to get out of here. Amen. Can I get a can I get a preach sub? Can I say can I get, get a word? Say a word, sub. You better preach. Take it home a little, bitch. Take it home. Take it home. Take it home. Take it home. You said you said closing remarks. Take your time. Take your time, bitch. Knock all them in the mouth for me. <laughs> no. Who will go? Because he had been forgiven, he said, Yes. He said, Here I am. Here I am. Send me. I'm not afraid of that demon no more. Here I am. Send me. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to go there and worry about getting caught up like I used to get caught up. Here I am, send me. Why do you think God made you familiar with that demon? 
and and he had to, he had where there where where, where there is where, where you are comfortable. What I said, where you are comfortable, there's no ministry. Where you are uncomfortable, that's when you're doing effective ministry. That's right. That's so true. If you're looking to be comfortable, there you, you don't want to do ministry. That's right. Amen. Jesus did ministry. And, and on that calorie walk, that was the ultimate ministry. Did he look comfortable? But y'all ain't concerned about ministry. Y'all concerned about comfort. Watch what happens here. Here I am, send me. And he said, yes, go and say to the people. Here it is. Now that my, someone say, my sins have been forgiven. My sins have been forgiven. I have no more guilt. I have no more guilt. How do I stay there? How do I stay there? Don't you never ask. Listen carefully. But do not understand. Listen carefully. Pay attention. But don't try to figure it out. Whatever somebody's going through, pay attention. But don't try to understand it. See, the minute I try to understand it, now I, I put on my judge hat. Listen, I'm telling you how to stay there. Listen carefully. But do not understand. Watch closely. Huh? But learn nothing. Watch closely. But learn nothing. When you go to help, you're not going to learn. I used to thought, well, I gotta go, when well, I gotta go help folks so I can learn how to help them. No. God say, when you go to help, learn nothing. Just help. Because if I'm going there to learn, guess what's going to happen when you get in trouble again? I'm going to say, uh-uh, I ain't coming no more because you done did this too many. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. That's why I can't learn nothing about your situation. I'm just with your situation to help. Mercy, mercy. I'm just trying to show you how to keep the guilt off you and, and continue to walk in your forgiveness. This ain't me. This is the word of God. And then it says, Plug their ears and shut their eyes. Hallelujah. See nothing, hear nothing, but just help. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. <laughs> Did I make that up? Plug their ears and shut their eyes, nor understand with their hearts. In other words, Help my sister. <laughs> <laughs> let, her, let, her, let her get involved. <laughs> it ain't my business why she sleep. <laughs> I'm not going to try to look at her situation to her eyes, otherwise I'll be sleeping instead of preaching. Y'all yeah. yeah. hear what I'm saying here? Yes. Huh? Yeah. And whatever she's hearing, I don't want to hear because clearly she's hearing nothing. It's <laughs> 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 my baby. No, no. See what they don't understand. They don't understand. You and God had already talked about the sermon before you got here. That's so what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so he says, and, and then watch this. And then, and then, don't try to understand. I hear somebody saying, "Well, you know what? Yeah, she got two jobs. Yeah, she should be tired. Beyond your pay grade, none of your." <laughs> In other words, don't try to figure the situation out. You have been forgiven. Do you want to suffer some more? Because if you if you if you step in unforgiveness, now I got to be rid. See, y'all like the part about repenting, but y'all don't understand. Every time you repent, there's a burning sensation that you got to go through all over again. Oh yes, you better come. Oh, yes. We like it. Well, I'm gonna repent, but then you don't understand. Now why I keep going through? I don't ask God to forgive me. 
You don't go to school. You don't go to school to learn how to teach for, so the young spirit can learn. So if you don't go to school to teach the young spirit, the old man gonna still have his way because he's been with you longer than the youngster. That, for you, that make any sense? We all right? Amen. Now watch what it says here. It says, it says, then I said, Lord, how long will this go on? No, I'm through. That's 10. I'm that's too far. It says, it says, watch it. He said, plug their ears, shut their eyes. That way they will not see with their eyes, nor hear with their ears, nor understand with their hearts. And when you can't see nothing, you don't hear nothing, now you go beyond yourself for understanding. Amen. When you can't see nothing, you can't hear nothing, now you go beyond yourself. Y'all hear this? Yeah. For understanding. That makes sense? Yeah. But as long as I'm hearing, seeing, I'm trying to figure it out my self. I'm telling you right now, in spite of where you are, in spite of what's going on in your life, in spite of what people say, you have yet seen God. You have yet been forgiven. You are yet, you are yet not guilty. You are yet divorcing the old man, but now you gotta teach the youngster. You have yet seen God. Everybody, everybody received this today? Amen. You have yet seen God. Stand up where you are. 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 See, my past, my past. is my past. It is my past. It's time, it's time to stop learning. Stop from my past. From my past. Because my past, because my past includes, joy, includes joy. But the truth be told. But the truth be told. It includes more suffering. It includes more suffering than joy. Than joy. So life. So life. More abundantly. More abundantly. Will come. Will come. When I let God. When I let God. Teach me. Teach me how not to lie on people. How not to lie on people. How not to curse people. How not to curse people. When I let God. When I let God. Teach me. Teach me how to talk to people. How to talk to people. When I let God. When I let God. Not let my past. Not let my past become my present. Become my present. Stay right there. If He say something to me. If he say something. All right, man. All right, man. That's Mary Lee <laughs> Mary Lee is keep on preaching <laughs> but if he say something to me that makes me mad and I say something back to him I just let my past affect my future my present see the minute it comes out of his mouth it is the I got to stop letting my past affect my present. And I can only do that by giving total control to my creator. Because when, I, when, I'm, when I'm walking in my past, I'm not walking with my creator. How do we greet people with a holy kiss? Anybody remember? The holy kiss of God. And, and, and I love it. I worked with some Jews in, in, in the back in the day, and every time that I would come in the office, we'd come to work, they would always say shalom. So now, and God told us the other day when we wake up with Jesus, he said, greet everyone with a holy kiss. Every time you walk in your job, every time you walk in your house, every time you wake up in the morning, you greet whoever you're with with a holy kiss. You tell them, peace be with you. I Meaning, be, beware. Now, I got God, I got somebody with me. I got God, peace be with you. I mean, all... That'll get, that'll take, that'll shift, you'll be surprised how that'll shift the atmosphere. When I wake up in the morning, I see my wife, before I kiss her, I just say, what I say? Peace be with you, baby. Just in case I don't say so last night before we went to bed, <laughs> I want to make sure God fix that thing before we start today. Amen. Amen. Greet everybody with a holy kiss. Amen. I mean, just, just get it in your spirit. Peace be with you. Every time you see somebody, what's wrong?